What's up, you guys? Today we're gonna react to Sob Way Part Three. So, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Bye. You wanna know something sad? I've earned more money from the two Subway videos I made about working at Subway than I did actually working at Subway for over a year. <sighs> so here we go, Subway part three, baby. I still got more to say. I used to work there, in case you didn't know that. When I moved out and was all on my own for college, I was feeling a little lonely and homesick. So one day I decided, hey, I'm gonna get some Subway for lunch. Food that I used to almost eat every day and got for free for over a year, I was gonna pay full price for. I just wanted a taste of home. I wasn't expecting to ever tell this story, but it turns out the employee making my sandwich was a huge idiot. As I was waiting in line, I noticed my favorite sandwich, the turkey italiano, wasn't on the menu. The turkey italiano, by the way, is the same as the Italian BMT, but instead of ham, you put on turkey. Very simple change. I asked the worker, do you guys have the turkey italiano? And he said, no. So then I asked, can I get a BMT, but instead of ham, I have turkey? And you know what he said to me? He said, no. I don't Damn. think I'm asking for too much. At my subway, the BMT and the turkey italiano were the same price, okay? And what do you mean, <laughs> no, you can't put on turkey? Who, who's stopping you? I know for a fact that you don't count the slices of turkey at the end of the night. Just hook me up, please. I'm feeling sad. So I just got the BMT with all the vegetables because it's more food for the same amount of money and I was a poor college student. And also yeah. because screw that guy. Have fun trying to close that sandwich. But then when he was all done, he put my sandwich by the cash register and then he just started helping the next customer. And they hadn't even started making their sandwich. Just ring me up so I can leave and then help the next person. But no, I had to wait for him to finish this person's sandwich. If I wasn't so nice, I would have just took the sandwich and walked off. But I didn't. I'm so nice. I've realized mm -hmm. telling you that story, it sounds like I'm one of those customers who complain about everything and say, let me talk to your manager. But really, the whole time I just stood there awkwardly. But I think I can complain a little bit. I used to work at a Subway. I know how things are supposed to work. Subway, if you're somehow watching this, you need to hire more people like me. Speaking of me, when I was working at Subway, I never liked wearing my name tag because when I was making people sandwiches, I hated it when complete strangers would say, thanks, James. How did you know? Oh, right, the name tag. So I never wore my name tag. I just work at Subway, okay? We don't need to know each other on a first name basis. Just take your food. For some reason, I don't like it when strangers know my name. But now that's that's all thrown out the window. This one time yeah. a customer came in and for some reason I couldn't help but feel like I'd seen her somewhere before. Her face was so familiar, but I couldn't put my finger on it. So I made her sandwich, I rang her up, she paid for it. And as she grabbed her stuff, she said, Yeah, I'm going up to my father's funeral this weekend. After my mother died, he couldn't last that long. Oh, that's why I remember her. She came in last week telling me the same story. What? What are you supposed to say to that? Yeah, that really sucks. I'm just some underpaid sandwich artist with really bad people skills. Did she really not have anyone else to talk to? That just makes it extra sad. I ended up giving her a free cookie. I'm just kidding. No, I didn't. Luckily, my coworker Corey heard this and he talked to her and he was very nice. Corey's a lot better at being nice to people. One time I was closing the store, I turned off the open sign and I was opening the front door to bring in a table and chair from outside. But while I was bringing in the table, these two old guys got out of their car and asked, Are you guys closed? Yep is what I would have said if I wasn't so nice. Instead, I said, Ugh, fine. Even though it was past yeah. 10, I let them order their sandwiches. When they came in, the 16-year-old girl I was working with was not happy. They started apologizing for coming in so late. Oh, I didn't realize places in Arizona close so early. Blah, blah, blah. We're vampires. And I said, Ugh, it's whatever. Just order your sandwiches. And then he said, can I have three salads? And I actually laughed. Ha, ha, ha. But he didn't laugh. Oh, you're being serious. I let you in past closing and you want three salads? Do you know how many dirty dishes that'll make? As I was making this guy's three salads and 16-year-old girl was making the other guy's two foot-long sandwiches, a third guy not associated with these two came in. Oh Guess he didn't see God. the open sign not illuminated. I finished helping the two old guys and then I started helping the third guy and he asked, What time do you guys close? 15 minutes ago. But after everything was said and done, the two old guys tipped us $5 and the third guy tipped us $1. So I wow. mean, between me and the 16-year-old girl, a $3 tip ain't so bad. I actually heard from one of my old co-workers that the husband and wife owners of my old Subway watched my two other Subway videos. So they might be watching this one. And I just wanted to say that by letting those three guys in, I showed initiative and was looking out for customer satisfaction. Yeah. 
One time I brought a laser pointer into work because I knew I'd be bored, and I was. Except the boy I was working with was shining it outside at the cars driving by, and I told him not to do that because it's probably stupid, illegal, and really dangerous. Later, I was going to go clean the bathrooms. I saw the laser pointer on the counter, and I said, Hey, dude, while I'm cleaning the bathrooms, don't shine the laser pointer at the cars. I told him that. When I was all finished cleaning, though, I saw him sitting by the window just shining the laser at the cars. At first, I wanted to go up to him and say, Dude, stop. But then the other part of me thought... I'm not this kid's dad. I told him to stop twice and he didn't listen. Whatever happens is his problem. He ended up getting fired. Yeah, lady Damn. came in and said, let me talk to your manager. And I said, uh, I can give you her phone number. And boom, he, he got fired. I know I'm the one who brought in the laser pointer, but I don't really blame myself for him losing his job. That was a stupid thing for you to do, kid. Once again, I was the good employee. I mean, I didn't show that much initiative that time, though. So before I worked at Suaboy, I liked to go to this taco place and get the same thing every time, the carne asada fries. Later, I learned that the carne asada fries are 2,000 calories. That was the only thing I ever got at this taco place. And I used to be super self-conscious, thinking, man, these employees must think I'm so weird coming in and getting the same thing over and over. But then when I worked at Suaboy, I learned, ha! Nope, fast food employees don't care about you or your order. Unless you're mean to them or tell them that you're going to your dad's funeral, fast food employees will not remember you. One time someone came in and told me, I'll have the usual. And I said, I've literally never seen you before in my entire life. I didn't really say that. If any of you are working at a really slow swoopway, here are some fun games for you to play. Cut up a loaf of bread into small pieces and make a mini sandwich with one meat and three different vegetables. Give it to your coworker and have them eat it without looking. Then they have to guess what's on the sandwich. And that's it. You can set up a point system like they get one point for every ingredient they get right. Also, you can do the same game by mixing up two sodas and have them guess. You can walk into the freezer and see how long you can last. My record's an hour. You can bring in mm. some vanilla ice cream and just make all sorts of stuff with that. You can make root beer floats. You can take two cookies and put ice cream between them and make a cookie ice cream sandwich. 16-year-old girl made this thing. I think it was called a kazuki. You put cookie dough in a bowl and then you cooked it, but not all the way. And then you put ice cream on top of it and it was super good. You can make nachos and bread bowls and we wasted a lot of food. I still don't know why that guy didn't give me a turkey italiano. I mean, at my Suaboy, we made bread bowls and nachos. Okay, all right, here's my favorite Suaboy sandwich besides pastrami. The pastrami is good, but it's expensive. So the next best thing, aka what I usually get, is the turkey italiano on wheat bread and provolone cheese. And whenever I made mine, I would put on extra meat and extra cheese. So I guess if you want to recreate my sandwich, you have to get double meat and double cheese. Which, if you ask me, is the standard amount of cheese and meat you should put on the sub. Toast it, obviously. And then you put all the vegetables on it besides banana peppers and jalapenos and only a little bit of pickles. So actually, I did ask the first guy to put on all the vegetables. Not out of revenge, but because I actually like all the vegetables on my sub. Then a little bit of mayo. They normally put on so much mayo, just ask for one stripe. <laughs> and then the same amount of mustard, and then some oil, vinegar, salt, and pepper, and then wrap that puppy up. And it was going to insult a sandwich that Suaboy has, but if Suaboy is ever going to hire me as their new spokesperson because they need one, I can't be insulting one of their sandwiches in a video. It was the meatball. The meatball's a horrible sandwich. Okay, there are good meatball marinara sandwiches out there. It's just the ones at Suaboy are... Dumb. I do want to say something about the plushies. I know I said in the last video that they're going to be out by Christmas, but that didn't happen. They were shipped out late. But as of right now, they have shipped already, and you should have gotten a confirmation email. So if you haven't gotten yours, then they should be arriving very, very soon, is what I'm saying. Thanks for watching. Happy, good way to start out the new year, and wear your seatbelt. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a red thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't want to miss any videos. And as always, bye-bye!